because I've listened to that song about five million times already, and I can already hear it playing in my head as it's going. Yeah, and also I stipulated in my contract that uh, I have to show my nipples at least once in every scene. This was like the only choreographed bit of the of the dance was like they just wanted me to tap and then also, gradually get more into it. This was my first day and they go, right, now dance like no one's watching. <laughs> Look at those big ass shoulders. <laughs> Aww. They called me in early and so I got to watch your entire... Oh, you watched my whole thing, yeah. <laughs> And there's quite a repertoire of moves, which oh, many of which man. weren't weren't used. My my Van Halen just, kick wasn't used. I was I'm getting into it now. I'm personally upset about that because that was uh, especially when then you went to do it on the other leg and it wasn't as and it was terrible. <laughs> All right. What's Allison doing? Huh? She's like going no, Luther. Not it. Then she's like just easing into getting down, just e easing into it. I was like, is this boa off limits? Because if you're gonna put me in a room with a boa, I'm probably gonna use it. <laughs> I like when you touch the thing by accident. Oh, it's so good. Klaus is thinking, is this in my head? Are these the drugs or the music? Oh, Ellen, I love it so much. It's so endearing. It's like not dancing, dancing, you know? She's like. Into the night and then you put your arms around me and we tumble to the ground and then you say. I must say, Mr. Castaneda's got some serious moves. And during season one, I think he was doing like hip hop dance classes and stuff. I think that was the first time any of us really saw David dance. We were like, wait, Yeah, and going, what? oh, David can actually <laughs> dance. Yeah. Yeah, when the show came out, we were like, oh, he can dance. I'm like, oh, I had no idea. And what I did was I started looking up 90s clips, like In Living Color and like Will Smith dancing, just to kind of get a vibe of what I was going to do, because obviously everyone else is so unique, right? Especially Luther's crab walk. I mean, that was genius. Tom Hopper. He told me that uh, this this crab thing he does uh, originated on a, a dance floor in Leicestershire. I think all of you guys have moves. It's really impressive. You know, when I first read the script, I was so scared that I was going to be in the scene because <laughs> uh, I don't dance, nor can I dance. I mean, even Ellen, I mean, she's going for it. She's she's rocking it. Uh, I love that. Cool way first episode, like to introduce characters. Just thought it was like such a smart way to do that. You know, all these so like little characters. Cool. So iconic. Vanya. Ah yes. Do you remember me? Honestly, a true tearjerker this one it really yeah got it's me. a great scene this you so good both of you yeah that was really sad vanya was really really having quite a time quite a quite a melt yeah what a day i think i just embraced ellen for a minute before we shot that scene and thanked her for speaking to me for the first time uh <laughs> during my course on the show yeah it was i mean i barely ever got to work with justin you know i so. know he was all, I, that's the thing, he's like, he's usually there, but we have to ignore him. <laughs> yeah, that's the tough bit for Justin. I, I know, really how many takes... never speak to him. I know, how uh, many takes I ruined by looking directly at him when we, oh, we're not supposed to. I'm like, oh, yeah. sorry, I just looked at Justin. Can we roll oh, again? <laughs> looked at him again. Dad treated you like a bomb before you ever were one. He was so scared of your power, he never let you use it. This was a very, very touching scene. They haven't seen each other, these two siblings. Ben died a long time ago. And it was something that really affected all of us. And it's really interesting because that you really see that the relationship that Vanya and Ben must have had in this scene. You know, yeah. that's what I like about it so much. It's like, oh God, they must have, you know, it would have been such a huge loss for Vanya, I think. Yeah, I think for all of them, because that's like we always see, we only see his relationship with Klaus. We never really yeah. know what his relationship was with the other siblings, which is like this was such a good window into that. You aren't alone at the table anymore, Vanya. And he's just so caring for her. It's like this is what she's needed, you know? I know. Yeah, it's um, really sweet. 
you know, you're not the only one at the table anymore. That just like crushed me. And uh, Justin's obviously so fantastic in the scene. So it was a sweet scene to shoot, but oh man, poor thing, such a mess in that scene. Yeah, you've gone through a lot of this time, haven't you? I'm massive, I'm getting tortured. Oof. It was a tough day emotionally for Ben, but actually the crazier story is that uh, we hadn't received episode 10 script yet. So I, I wasn't really sure what was gonna happen to Ben after this. So um, not only was it sad for me uh, as this character, you know, saying goodbye to his family, but I was actually sad as Justin <laughs> because I, I wasn't sure if this was gonna be my last scene on the show. He's here with Klaus. And soft and gravy. Even though as beautiful as it was, most of the time I was staring at Justin's hair. It was beautiful. I wanted to see some uh, tears from, from Klaus in episode 10. <laughs> but we got a moment from you. We got a moment from you in that, in that car scene with Ellen. I resent the fact <laughs> Vanya swooped in there and got to, uh, got to, got to send off. It's funny, like you kind of, as you're going away, you're like Swiss cheese. That's Ruining so my moment, okay? Can I ask you a weird favor? Anything. Can you hug me as I go? It's been a long time. Ugh, oh, so devastating. Ask for a hug. It's like in Ghost when Patrick Swayze goes. <laughs> and look, here, here's Ben saying his loving goodbye message for Klaus. I wasn't fully convinced about the, the the message that Vanya relayed back to me about whether or not that was true, what you said in her ear, you know mm. what I mean? Mm. Whether or not she was sort of, uh, she, she was padding the fall a bit for me. That's, <laughs> that you just leaned in all sweet and gone, tell Klaus I think he's an absolute. <laughs> and the last, the last 15 years have been, have been a royal thorn in my heart. <laughs> Uh, Everyone ready? Let's do it. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I mean, this man. was this was a big because uh, this was like the freezing cold. Oh, it was so cold. Out yeah. by it was, uh, it was so cold. Maybe you can just sense we're like get us the f out of here. Yeah, come yeah. on, we want to go. You just you just clench your butthole and close your eyes and think of Kansas. I think he's joking, but he's not. This is this is actually how he works. Wait. I love your cowboy hat. Yeah, little little Dallas. I'm going to try and keep hold of that if we yeah. if we go back. Yeah. I'm going to try and hold on to that for dear life and make you dance. <laughs> And this moment here, this when we arrived, this was the last thing we shot in season two. Oh yeah, it was. The oh, last yeah, yeah the, oh, right, it was the very Justin, last thing we okay. shot. But being inside the house, this was like a really fun part because we hadn't done a scene inside the house. This was actually the first time I'm actually stepping in. So it was really, really have to act. I, I, I think so. Why is there a painting of Ben over the mantle, please? I knew you'd show up eventually. Here we see dad. Uh, which is shocking for the family because they didn't expect him to be here. <laughs> and then turn around, <laughs> and there are these shadowy figures on the landing. Who are these? These twerps? <gasps> Dad, who the hell are these assholes? Yes. Ah, what's gonna happen? Who are those people? We had to wait for a while because the final page. Was yeah, Steve likes to keep the last page from us. <laughs> and he implied yeah, it was literally only a couple of days before we shot it. Yeah. He didn't tell us about the Ben thing. Like we knew like, this, at least for me, I knew the Sparrow Academy thing, but the Ben thing, I was Yeah, like, Ben was, yeah, that was actually a true shot. Awesome. Or did you guys know that? And I was just out of the loop. No, I don't think I knew that initially, but then like Justin didn't leave town and I was like, aren't you dumb? Why are you still here? <laughs> He's like, I'm not allowed to tell. <laughs> I was very surprised that he was going to include uh, the cube 
as part of the Sparrow Academy. Oh my god. I love what they did with his hair as well. Maybe his hair all like edgier and those, stuff. Like, those extensions. That's so good. We actually went through about 20 iterations of the hair situation. Uh, essentially, they, they wanted it to be as different from Ben's hair as possible. Ben's hair is quite perfectly quaffed. So they wanted something to be messier, longer. You can't really see quite clearly here, but there's a couple of blue streaks there. I like to call it my ode to My Chemical Romance. <laughs> we don't get scenes with Justin or we treat him like the crew or like cameras when we're doing a scene. We have to block all of that out because he's a ghost. So none of us can actually see him. So it'll be nice to have some interactions with uh, the character of Justin or whoever he might be playing next. The first version of the scene, Klaus was supposed to be the one who sees me first. And he says, Ben, it was nice to have that moment with Ben and Klaus, but actually they decided to change it because they didn't want the audience to be confused, thinking that Klaus was the only one who could see Ben again. So they sort of changed it. And, and so everyone just says, <laughs> which I think is pretty funny and, and very, uh, you know, like our family to do that. It's such a good cliffhanger, I can't. Oh, it's so good.